Na mimi naongea na mtu hapa. Hakuna kitu shetani anahakikisha kwamba watu wanachukia chini ya jua. Because from Genesis the first day of creation God began a journey of offerings of what so i am talking about seven different levels of offerings sema seven different levels please speak it loudly sema seven different types of offerings Today you will be tired with scriptures and also we are going to go deeper. Now when I jua, my spirit is always very alert. I know when I'm teaching a very sensitive topic, some agents of evil try to divert minds ya watu wawaondoe katika mrorongo wale wa kweli. But offering is the mandatory number one activity that began in the book of Genesis. Somebody say amen. And it's the most hated topic. Inachukiwa by all the sundries. Yani everybody hates what you call when you mention an offering. You are mentioning you have touched a sensitive nerve. Especially to the man who is not ready for to be blessed. Bana suwe san. Every time that when God want to test a man he test a man by offering somebody say amen God test a man by offering God does not test you by how much you pray God does not test you on how you dance God does not test you by oh now from the book of genesis is the first beginning the bible says now adam knew if his wife and she conceived and bore a child that is cain and said i have acquired a man from the lord amen i have acquired a man from where now the next verse then she bore again this time his brother Abel now Abel was a keeper of the sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground number 3 now that's how the bible says in the process of time tell your neighbor the process of time please tell him the process of time that is the first time the process of time that God wanted to test man the connectivity between man and the ground bana swe san god never required a sacrifice from if or adam no he required a sacrifice from his children bana swe san the bible says in the process of time it came to pass that cain brought an offering bana swe san So offering is as old as the Bible. Bwana aswe san. Na hiyo ndio inachukiwa sana na adui anahakikisha kwamba usiku na mchana lazima utafute njia ya kuchukia kitu kinaitwa ikimentioniwa hivi kuna watu sasa hivi unakuta na Sephora wa church here kuna watu hapa unakuta tukimension hivyo tayari they have closed their mind wamefunga mioyo yao wamefunga mawazo yao wamefunga akili zao wamefunga kila kitu wanasema please bring on something else let me tell you there is nothing bigger hakuna kitu kikubwa chini ya jua kama offering kama nini maana hizo siweza the bible says and in the process of time it came to pass Cain brought an offering of the fruit to the ground to the Lord to do what I said what Alipokuwa analeta sadaka mbele za Mungu kwani Mungu hakuwa na sadaka na yeye ndiye alichukua mnyama akachinja akawafunika Adam na Eva from their shame So God was a fast giver of sacrifice Sijasema tu mtu akasikia mtu akasema amen nasikia smart Nasema Mungu ndio wa kwanza. Sema wa kwanza. 
maana mwanadamu Adam na Eva maandiko inasema when they discovered they were naked they were what what does the bible says walianza kutafuta mbinu ya kujifunika from their nakedness from what leo hii watu wanatafuta njia jinsi wanaweza fanikiwa today kwa, kuna many means candles nini sijui ni wapi tulikuwa kuna mtu ame kuna banki imefungwa hapa inaitwa Chase Bank Juice moja alikuja hapa jana juice akaniambia pasa niambia bibi yangu awachanage na maneno ya kukimbiaga kila banki anaenda anaweka pesa anakimbia hapa anafanya kila kitu sasa ona vile imefanyika nikamwambia she paid that money though itachukua over a year almost two years paka wakuje wafanye profiling fanya bank wafanye case mpaka wamalize wampatie kaniambia nilimwambia lakini mama asiki mama ako na haraka anapenda sana nikamwambia ndugu usimulaumu hata wewe ungepata hiyo hela wewe mama angepata faida ya hiyo vile aliambiwa hata wewe ungeenjoy lakini sasa hizi unalalamika kwa sababu hauna faida yake bwana asiwe sana watu wao wanalalamika kwa sababu hawana faida yake now Mungu alikuwa ndio wa kwanza chini ya jua kutoa sadaka. Kutoa nini? Aisee kufanya nini? Alichukua mwana mnyama katika msu, katika Garden of Eden, akamchinja akamfunika Adam and Eve. Bwana asiwe sana. So lazima uelewe ya kwamba any time God want to raise you number one, God does not raise you because you are a prayer warrior. Nasema hivi brother God does not raise you because you come to church every day He can keep you because but God raises a man through an offering through what I said through what Yeah men say an offering Ah I'm just saying sorry Sema an offering Mungu anainua watu kutokea kwa offering na ndio unaona shetani anachukia kitu kinaitwa na katika ulimwengu wa giza ulimwengu wa nini hakuna watu ndugu yangu wako committed more than anybody else hakuna watu ambao wanajua chinsi ya kufanya kazi ya Mungu yani kazi ya Mungu wao shetani kama watu ambao hawajaokoka wale wapagani Walifanya supermarket Edward. Mlikuwa mnaingiana kwa supermarket, muindi kama hajafanya maombezi, amwezi kuingia. Wote mnafanya mazoezi hapo nje, si kweli? Kuna mwaka maziwa ilikosa Kenya. Unakumbuka mzee Ndube? Na walisema maziwa ilipokosa Kenya mzima, hiyo maziwa ilikuwa inanunuliwa na Wahindi wakipea Mungu wao. There is a place walikuwa wanamwaga, atio maziwa ikaenda tu. Mulisikia hiyo ruma mwaka fulani 90 was it 97 or 98 Lakini there was that information Wewe jumwaga na wahindi hai kumwawa lakini they buy they buy what they do wanachukua wanapea kama kwa mfano ile kanisa ya Kiuna ilikuwa pale Ngara Nairobi Kulikuwa na Mungu ametenga pale Mungu wa million 300 walikuwa wametengeneza a golden god so watu wakaingia pale wakaiba ile 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 mungu ya 300 million walipoiba wakakuja asubuhi wakakuta kwamba mungu ameibiwa wa gold wakakuwa discouraged na hiyo temple ndio wakapatia kiuna wakaachana nao because wakasema kwamba we cannot continue to be in a place where there is no god because god has already been stolen is a true story Mungu wao aliibiwa wakiwa kwa 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 sijui wa hindi walikuwa wapi but it was torn pale ngara where JCC was sasa wakakashirika wakasema we cannot continue worshiping god here because already god is not there is not what wakati mmoja kulikuwa kuna safirishwa Mungu kutoka 58 ni 58 iletwe hapa chini ama ni huko chini ipelekwe 58 there's a kuna kuna wakati walikuwa wanatoa mwindi yani walikuwa wanatoa Mungu kuna mali walikuwa wanatoa Mungu wanatoa Mungu wanatoa 58 wanataremsha kuja kuja nini kuja hapa central it was a traffic jam the, the convoy was big and they are not ashamed they are not what i said they are not what they 
are not ashamed by what they are doing. Wacha wewe unakujaga na Bible. Mimi naona hata wandugu wengine wanataka Bible hapa kwa ofisi ili wakitokea nyumbani watu wasijue wanaenda wapi? Wanaenda kanisa. Unani elewa lakini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I carry my Bible openly. That's why mimi naendaga katika mikutano mingine naendaga kanisa zingine ziko na protocols. Nakuta ati ushers wanakuja wanakuja kunibebea Bible. Nawaambia don't carry my Bible. If you only want to carry carry me while I'm carrying my Bible. And I'm very sure mpaka msukumo hivi mimi naambia unajua wana ni heshima nikamwambia nobody will have any respect carrying my Bible is like you are taking away my inheritance. Bwana azue sana. And I'm saying nobody what is the prestige when you carry your Bible openly people know people know that you are born again you are what watu wanaibikia kama watu wanaabudii Andrew miungu na waibiki hapa hata mtu anakukuta hapa kwa barabara hapa kwa gafu hata anakujua eh hey, sasa habari unaenda wapi ah nenda hapa 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 tu hapa mbele hapa 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 na kumbe you are coming to church you cannot even tell your neighbor your relative your friend umwambie tuende church even even some of you muko wicked how can you walk from the house watch house girl kwa nyumba ati unakuja church you are wicked you are wicked you are wicked like evil because you cannot leave somebody in the house huwezi tu anafanya nini na unakuja kuinua mikono by the time you go to the house what do you think he has done the, everybody abraham made everybody who was under his roof to worship his god Mzendubi na kukongratulate sana. Si rais unaacha watu kwa nyumba yako. Sijui labda kuku ndio unaachaga. Kuku. Na zikuwa zinaabudiki zina kinakuwa kuabudu ungekuwa unazibeba. You know what? Mtu mtu wa ukweli kabisa, kabisa. Like now you come you can't find anybody in my house at hivi living all day hata akiwa mgonjwa tutaweka kwa mgongo tukuje we come join later. Ana bibi yangu anajua any second kume cross hivi masaa hata masaa ya kutoka kwa nyumba everybody in that house is restless everybody is restless is what lakini unaamka kutoka kwa nyumba hivi eh nikikuja nipate gedheri cause useless you are not a christian you are a mungu anakuja upate gedheri iko unakuja kuwekea na kujolea hiyo gedheri ukikuja unakula unakuwa zuzu huko kwa nyumba huko ai you can't you can't You can't house girls from the day of Abraham paka leo they are suspects If you had that unaja unipika jabati alafu utengeneza stew watoto wakitoka church wakule useless watoto wakue njaa 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 zaidi because everybody must worship your god must worship what i say you are what ati kazini zako wamekutembelea dirangu hata bila aibu unajua ni kazi niwalichelewesha ndio hata naona nimekuja church nimewacha hata kwa nyumba ana unaniambia hivyo don't try usiniambia guys unajua mimi ni mbaya sana don't try ati basta unajua niliwachelewa leo nimekuzoea kuja hapa saa 3 sasa una, unajikuta basta <laughs> najua kazi niwalitembelea hata nimewaacha nyumbani ndio ilikuwa hata napika hata nikaona hata nikimbie kanisa hata niko na haraka alafu niwajua ninarudi baadaye There are things you tell me I feel you, you are like a demon from sent from the devil's grief. Because one one mama moja ni wapi kwa mimi tulisoma shule mama ule mama alikuwa anaacha alikuwa anaacha maid kwa nyumba every day ya mama kile alafu aliporudi wakati umeshana na manifest bibi na bwana wapendani hawapatani kabisa wakati umeshana hata ni bishop ndrangu alikuwa anamwombea huyu msana alipoanza ku manifest alisema mimi nilikuwa nimetumwa kwa hii nyumba My mission number one is to make sure I have destroyed this family huyu bibi na bwana huwa wakitoka mimi unajua wanakitoka wana niazaa kwa nyumba sasa huwa anaingia chini ya kitanda nafanya vurugu anatoa nguo anafanya nini yani huyo msichana mpaka anaruka kwa kitanda you, know, you don't know you don't know Gladys uandike at sasa akafungua kaduka kako unaacha mtu anakuja church kaa hapo wacha kuja church kaa kwa hiyo duka don't come wacha kuja kwa kwa church mwache wewe kaa in fact ule mtume church wewe kaa kwa duka kama unataka ufungue sande you don't leave it because number one, you must number one, have a commitment of 
Sacrifice. Because God is number one sacrificer. Number one what? Mungu ndiyo anakuwa number one sacrificer. Any time that you want to test the weight of God. When God wants to test you brother. He tests you by offering. By what? Alijitest weye mwenyewe kwanza. How did he have to redeem back Adam and Eve after they fall? Bada ya wako anguka. Kitu cha kwanza alifanya ni kuwajaribu kupitia kofring. So he had to take an offering to give so that they can know how does God behave. Bana shweza. Lakini shetani ya natuunejaga ukimenjo ni offering anywhere. Jana tulikuwa mahali nyumba inafunguliwa. Watu waka ubiri wako wako. Hey! When the preacher finished, akasema sasa, let's give an offering. Uliona kila mtu uso umetigunza, Africa, you die poor. 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 Kuna kila mtu wata wala walikuwa, and you give, people give an offering like they are fighting. You give an offering like, what you don't like, don't give to God. And I charge you today in this church, because you want success before God. What does not cost you brother don't give it to God. Give it to your wife, give it to your girlfriend if you have, give it to your boyfriend if you have, give it to your grandfather or your ancestors if you have. Kama watu wanachinjiaga mzendubi kwa mfano kule kwetu tumetoka. Wakati mtu amekufa. Yaani let me give an example. You know like giving a reason from where because hiyo ndio unajua kidogo culture. Mtu akikufa ama kwa mfano Bila kwa mfano nilisema juzi hapa wakati wa mazisha wajaluo waluya wakati ndio wachoyo peke yake alafu na wakikuyu they wanakula mpaka panya si kweli yani anything edible ukienda Mombasa wanakulaga morats mzendubi si wanakulaga fuko ukienda pwani pwani wanakulaga panya zile za, za nini zile zinatoka chini zile zote eh they eat. You don't know what you are going to do. You never traveled, son. I have so oh, I have traveled. My greatness. I have walked in this country. Nobody will tell me anything about this country. I don't know. I know. Even this country, I know the countries, the communities are very evil in terms of offerings. That's why even when you are at one another, you are a vita mutiku na mchana. Ni wajuaji. Wanachukua kaza daka. Hata buwana muizi. Chambasi. Anapeaga bibi yake za daka na muambia tangulia church. Endelea. Mama anasimama anapatia pasta. Pasta anasema God protect this family. Mungu atalinda yu chambasi. Kwa ni mungu ananini? Because he listens the words that are coming from the altar. You cannot alter it. You cannot alter those words. Chambasi! gangsta kuna bunduki kabisa anarukisha watu na tena tunasema uzuri tu, kwa madhabahu tunasema bwana fanikisha kazi ya mikono bwana fanikisha nini si ndio 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 bwana fanikisha nini kwani kiliamiti ya survive kuwa mwizi for all the years bunduki na marizazi zinapita juu all throughout na huko kwao moranga isa hero you know what people do to do bunduki when they know that they have offering, another offering is generosity. When you give somebody an offering, even if you are not born again, he keeps on praying for your protection. And the God listens to every prayer. That one you must understand. Mutu wa siku danganya at mungu wa sikiagi mahumbi ya wanyadhambi. Nani ya likuambiaga? Mungu wa nasikiaga. Because Abraham when he prayed for Sodom and Gomorrah, even Nani was not a racist man. Lord was not a racist man. But God saved him because of the prayer of Abraham. Not he was it. Amen. Wani aliokokaga maombi ya nani? Nani aliokoka aliokoka maombi ya ya a lot. Iko kati Sodom inapomolewa aliokoka nini? Na kwa nini Mungu alikausha mke wake? Because mke wake aliingia roho ya ya ya, ya Sodom akaingia kwa kichwa anaendelea kwenda lakini nafsi imebaki wapi? Mungu akaona huyu akiendelea ataenda kutengeneza Sodoma nyingi. Because si tabia zile zile zilikuweko pale incense na ukora na usharati yote si ndio nani ali transfer from from uh, Lot, Ali Transvaa, akakuja kwenda kurana na wasiana wake. Na akatengeneza very evil generation to date that is hated. The Amorites and the Mobites. They come from that old man who slept with his daughters. So it was he Russia's or and Russia's? A drunkard. Bilina sema kwamba wakamletea muse. Kanyuaji, muse akakunywa, akalewa, kalewa. First daughter. Second day. 
Bas. And the generation came out of it. Unashenga mzendu? It is biblical, my friend. So you must understand any time that God wants to raise you. Want what? Mungu hawezi raise hata watoto wako in a level beyond even education level in the certain level. Anaweza kuwapatia pesa kazi wasome wasikie vizuri but in a certain extent. Tena tulikuwa mahali watu wanaombea, watu wanasema wao oh, jamii ni ombea watoto, ombea nini, ombea. Kwa mzaa ndoa ndio zinazumbua. Ndoa ndio zile kuona kuolewa zinasumbua. Mtu kama hauna, yani uko nayo, kama vile bibi ndivyo uko na bibi. Uonagi hata ni muzigo kwa unaona ah. Bila gradi sio molewa. Uonagi hata mtu akikwambia ako na hitaji ya kuolewa unamwangalia hii unamuuliza dada. Wanaume wamejaa hapa kama makaratasi kama mkata popcorn. Yeye anafikiria one day try do what? Offering. Tell your neighbor don't hate offering. Mwambie mwanako usichukie. Watu wanachukia hakuna and with a lot of respect I speak and I believe and I respect the prophet of God a lot. He's a man of God. But I had one question with him. Alipotaja huko kwa kutolewa sadaka. The way you see people there. People flock from thousands wanaja. Na uki mention offering wale watu huko huko wanaanza kupiga simu kwa jina hello. Kuna mpanda mbegu. Yaani you know Unauliza, what does this person believe in because any time that god want to raise you god want to do what i say god want to do what i say any time god want to do what wale watoto muzicheze kwa hapa ni church mama edward dishika huyo wako na umchune mara mbili na wewe pigi huyo wako umuletea hapa hivi wewe 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 nikusikie tena msia Sasa ya pili mimi ndio nakuja hapa na wachuna maana nyinyi unajua kuchuna yenu haiwagusi he doesn't touch them. So you know, the Bible says spare a rod and do what? Yeah. As a spare rod do what? Spare. If you will spare me I won't spare. That's why hapa kanisani siwezi ni spare. I will tell you the plain truth. The plain word one of the biggest how many for example like me i'm longing mungu sukukire atatubariki zaidi god has blessed us that's number one. number two, we are so happy that to an extent ya kwamba we know who we are before the lord bana aswe sana tunajuaga ni nini mungu anataka kufanya katika maisha yetu ni nini mungu anataka afanye when god want to raise you number one, he test you he test what Mungu anamwambia Abraham, anamwambia Abraham. I'll make your name great. I'll make your name what? I say I'll make your name what? I say I'll make your name great, not your father's name. You are what? And I'll bless you and you will become a blessing to the nation. Do they what? God anangoja mpaka anampatia Abraham, anampatia mtoto. Isaac, a child that he has waited for too long. Waited for what? Mshara mshendubi ujaripwa mwezi mbili tatu ina tano sita uko na house rent then uko na kila kitu and then you get it in your hands Na usikie pastor anataka hiyo mshara kama zadaka ama ama inaitoka fast fruit how would you hate him let's be very honest how would you hate him you have waited for too long kitu ulikuwa unangoja labda kaloni umeitisha umengocha 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 yani umengoja madeni inarundika njaa mpaka inanuka mpaka mwenye kiatu na kioski wanakungoja alafu na pasta naba anafanya mazoezi give and i make your name great how will you feel with that pasta sema kweli unaweza unaweza sema mzee ndubi let's majua wewe unaongea real open how will you feel about it Why? Because physically you want to solve your problem. But spiritually God want to connect you. Amen? Amen? That's why God told Isaac in Genesis 26 verses number 12 that he told him so during the dry land. The Bible says verse number 1 it says there was famine in the land. Famine in the land. 
Genesis 26. He said there was famine where? And in that day, verse number 12, listen, the Bible says, verse number 12, and Isaac sold. Have we worked at number one? Uh, verse number one? Simon? Verse number one. Now, what does the Bible say? There was what? I said there was what? There was famine in the land. Beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham. Kulikuwa na njambaya. Nja nini? I said kulikuwa na nini? Wakati wa nja. Mimi nilikuwa katika kisasi kidogo hivi. I said kidogo with my grandmother. Alikuwa na lima. Wakati ya melima, alikuwa natoka maindi. Kuna maindi alikuwa natoka very big, big ones. Big ones. Anazifunga, anazifungwa hivi. Arafa anazifunga na kakamba hapa. Anaziekelea kando kwa, kwa, kwa moto hapo. Eh, iyo tumaindi, tunangaliaga hivi sinandera kupi waka na moshi sikauke. Na ziekua ginche, sinakauka, sinakapa, sinakauka, sinakauka, sinakauka. So, tulikuwa, kuna kipini tulikuwa tunapenda kukaranga maindi. Sinujure maindi natoka kama popcorn tulianza za mani. Wata ya, 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 ya wasungu. So, hata kama njaa imewakula kiasi kani, awakute. Alafu marawe zira ambazo sitakuwa mbegu, alikuwa ni mwerefu, anajua. Ndiyo shikuliwe na, 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 na wibs, wibos, anachukua e, nini, hash. Anaichanganya, inawekwa hapo, inaseme hata njaa ikingia kwa hiyo nyumba, mutembe kila mahali. As long as don't touch mbegu. Misaji nini? So, leo kimejo nivi nilangu, unasikiaka, hey! Uyo mubiri akiriake ni mbaya. Sia ubiri vitu zingine. Preach healing, preach power, preach prosperity. When the prosperity in the world wanapenda, but they don't want the conditions of prosperity. God operates this world by keys. Amen? This world is run by principles. Tell your neighbor by principles. I, please say my, Principles. Ah, sema vizuri. Sema principles. Hii dunia inaungozo na principles. Number, number one, level of offering. Number one, write down. Those who wrote it last week, write it down. And as I said, I bad you And as I said yesterday, and lesson, uh, as I've said, that any time God wants to raise a man, he raises him through offering. Through what? Number one test of the offering. Number one. Write down. Sema tithe. Yameni sema kwa sauti. Sema tithe. Hakuna kitu kinachukiwa. Wale wame overcome. Those people have overcome tithe. Even if you get a million, I will not be surprised that you can walk, you 10 million, you can walk in that door. Ado kwa chue. Neto hili wa safari kwa mkwa chua? I know. Muda kidogo tumeka na we, si sana. I know. Wewe ukipata 10 million, I won't be surprised hata kama ni mande asubui. You don't care. Because I have stayed with you for a short time. I have known. Kuna watu, my brother Edward Leo Evi, Ivi, watu, hakuna pesa ta wakuna aso na maana, wakuna five dao, five dao, ama five hundred, fifty bob becomes, fifty bob wanaeza toa, anatoa hivi, akitoa hiyo fifty bob wanaezi toa sadaka, anatoa hiyo fifty bob, akisha toa hiyo fifty bob, wameeka kwa basha, meandika tight, tena mwachina murefu, arafu anatoke hapa, anatoka hapa. Anatoa kwa biti, anatoa kikunja hii mkono moja, sunja hii mkono moja, anainama sana, anainama, akitoa anafanya hivi Yaani mbona unaona vile vile amenyenyekea amenyenyekea kwa madhaba Kuna watu leo hivi God is not surprised he can trust them because the Bible says if you cannot be trusted on the little who can trust you in ma I say who can trust what A tide is the most dangerous thing that people hate Hakuna Kanisa za pentecote zinachukia tithe, ukimension tithe, kila mahali, from coast to coast, from everywhere. What is making the Israelites today? Bill Gates is a, is a Jew, by the way. Kama muna abari. Bill Gates is a Jew. Is a Jew. A Judaism, wale wangufu. Bill Gates believes in tithing. He gives a tithe back to Israel daily. And in America, 
in top 10 people, the billionaires of the world, the top billionaires, yani wanajoga the top billionaires kwa wale number one, Bill Gates yako number one, akina Buffett, all those characters. Out of those 10, eight or seven of them are Jews. And where do they stay? They stay in America. Tell your neighbor in America. Where you want to die going there. Other size in the Rangua and Biwa, who's the Ire Vituzaka's order, the Ukochini, and America. At Tauza Sakumi na Moja Subui, throw away price. Akwe kwa airport. Atu kimuri zona vani America. Atu mimi na enda America. And you forget that the people who are in America are traitors. The framers of the Constitution of America, if you have never known, there were 235 men. Out of 235 men, three, uh, uh, 335 men, 300 were born again. How do you want to America standard? Do you want to make America a dollar? We can make in God we trust. So when you are in America, you are not going to be distort the whole meaning. Number two, those Americans, ukiangalia katika historia yao, Abraham Lincoln from his say, because he was a serious like, believer in the same. What they did in America, walisema kwamba, they have taken out 15%. In America, you are not taxed 100% like Kenya. You are taxed 85%. What it was 10% na 5% are not free. In America. Says what about America who does not believe what Mashetani what about the end America? They changed from tight wakaita charity. That's why everywhere in the whole world, Americans, people get charity from where? Hey, please, people get charity from where? America. Here charity, ukipeana charity mzendubi in America, they cannot tax you because you are a child. They don't care whether you are giving to Kenya, whether you are giving to Morocco, whether you are giving. And that's why Americans, their government, wamepeana yu nafasi ya kwamba, peana everywhere in the world, collect their blessing. Americans are collecting every blessing from every nation. Because what a beggars, the beggars are waiting. Wamefungwa kamdomu, saidia. America Saidia, 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 Sahi, Ada Kanizayote Kipataka Mu America, Inafanyaka Mazoezi, Ada Pasa Nangia Kiburi, Angaya Tuga to go here down up, Wako everywhere. When they have got someone from America, Ada Kiskia Mubiria Madoka America, Kuja, Ada Nik Sadaka Mutapunguza, Anam Najua Mekuja Nanini. I said, Maka to Namini, I come by America, Pesa Eko Barabara way in a Fagiriwa. So that's why. Everybody is dying to go to where? But you forget that the Americans are tithers. They are what? I said they are what? When you give your tithe, give with understanding. Give and count it doing that I give my tithe. When I'm giving my tithe, number one, you tie yourself with the promises. With what? When you give your tithe, you give what? Tithe Muzendubi in a kutai, yani, saidi kutafsiri kiswahili. In a kufunganisha na ahadi za nani? I say na ahadi za nini? Ndiyo nono wa pendekoto wanakuwa kama walevi wanafuta banki. Baba, ninadai uponyaji wangu. Leo ninadai. Baba, ninadai uniongeze. Baba, ninadai mpesha. You die. You are a thief. You are a what? Malachi chapter number 3 verses hiyo ambayo ndio inakwanga watu wanachukia sana people hate Malachi chapter number 3 let's start reading verse number 8 let's start from number 6 they hate it they do what i said they do what and you have an excuse ya kanyali which is a lie kanyali is a catalyst alikuja atumike na shetani ahakikisha ya kwamba wale wa levi wote wanachukiaga tithe wote wameondoka katika barabara ya nini I, I, Listen to this. Can you read this? Was one, two, let's go. I am the Lord and I don't watch. Now, Naga, what I could not do when you are going to be a baby, you are a mimic, the young one, a pair, my atima, or Barabara. You are a liar. You are what? Every month, do you wake up every month? Unatoa Edward from your income. Unachukua, unatembea kwa barabara, unapea naga hivi. Now, if you give like that, where do you take arms? 
Because God says you give a tithe and also you give arms. You give what? I say you give what? Arms in your the, 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 the man who, uh, uh, who was a leper at the beautiful gate. Man, you can say Peter and John were going to carry up and carry up. They were going to join us. They were going to join us. They were going to join us. The man who was opening his, eye, his, his, his eyes and his hands. I can say that many arms were going to drop up. Arms and break church. They were going to drop up. Tight in a perequa church. Arms in a perequa. So they were going to join us. They were going to join us. They were wanapenda kuja kudanganya watu ati wao wanapeanaga arms yani anachukua tithe yangu mimi ndapea mayatima barabarani you are a liar you are what i say you are what the bible says i am the lord and i do not change i do not what what god has said he doesn't change he doesn't what and i say but therefore you are not consumed you are not consumed now number 7 Yet, therefore, in the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances. You have gone away from? Kiswari nasema, umeondoka katika njia zangu. Chukua kiswari kiklofa suna tomea. Imesema, umeondoka katika njia zangu. Katika nini? Njia zangu na magizo zangu. And you have not kept them. You have not done what? I say, you have not done what? When you give your tithe, any time that you stand and they give your tithe, number one, you have a capacity to stand before God because that time umemurudia Mungu. Umefanya nini? Sikia vile Mungu anasema, "Return to me and I will do what?" Ah. Uh-uh. Soma tu, unajua unasoma kwa sababu you are a tithe stealer. Wewe unaibaga na hata usemagi because you don't give. Number one, anasema kwamba you are what? Return to what? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Unasikia wakora wa Jeuri wanaulizaka nirudieni mimi nami nitafanya nini? Kwanza hizo nyimbo zinaimbiwa ukisikia kwa anasema nirudieni murudieni Mungu anasema murudieni murudieni baba murudieni twamurudia bwana twamurudia bali laya Don't don't sing things you don't know you cannot even perform it. You know people love stories. And that's why let me tell you the truth. And that's why Mungu anaweza kuzuia watu ambao wanakuwaka pretenders mbele zake. He can give them thinking that they are okay. Ujaiona hiyo nyimbo zinaimbwa zinaimbwa kwa kwaya. Murudia ni nani? Eh? Mimi nimesikiza kwa murudieni Mungu tunde wapendwa tumurudieni bana tumurudieni tumurudieni kwanza kule wakina faith ya IC ndio wanasema tumurudieni bana tumurudieni tumurudieni bana wakisindi wako kwa vitu ajabu wapia wakianza kuimba kwa kiudunga nyimbo I see ye 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 sasa wasema tumemurudia bwana we are back to god baka wa Unajua watu walikuwa waje uri sana. Wanamuuliza how do we return to you? Tunakurudiaje God? Wacha uchika mingi kutuambia tukurudie. Si tuko hapa na tunakuabudu. Si tuko church ama ni aje? Tuko wapi? Aje tuko wapi? China wako na 1.2 billion people. People are subscribing to Christians in China and rangu. They are not even a tithe. They are only 10 million people in China including the foreigners. Na the way they worship underground churches people are worshiping you know what wale tuna tunajua tuna Mungu shetani anatutumia maximum what maximum anasema hebu soma anasema return to me and i will return to but you say in what way i say in what i say in what Uh-huh. Read it again. Uh, let's go to the next verse number one. The question. Can you read that question? Tafadhali soma hiyo kitu na seriousness. Nataka usome tu acha tu. Mwingine unasoma ni kama una haja nini. The first question. Maana hiyo ni swali ukabru the jibu. The what does it say? One dude let's go. That's a question. Swali, ndirangu mtu anaweza muiba, anaweza mu siku muiba, anaweza munyanganya Mungu. I cannot allow you around me if you are a robber if you can manage to rob God in rank how can I keep you around me you kill me before my time that's why watu wako hapa wanaua wahubiri kila saa pastor niombe pastor 
Tafadhali pastor, niko najua tena wana Conman ya juu. Mtu anakuja na kazaraka, sasa hivi anakuja na 2200 amekelewa. Pastor ndio taiti yangu. Pastor ndio. Kuna elfu afu akimaliza unajua kuna elfu yangu 200 mahali. You are in, you are in. Zai uzuri wa chungaji wanakulaka hizo sadaka bila kuata bila maombi sema bila maombi Sema hivyo bila maombi Because ukikutana ukipata muhubiri mukora na wewe ni mwenyewe ni mukora what do you think what will happen Wakora wawili wakikutana na ndirango kwa giza what do they do Aliye na nguvu mpi Because mtu anakuja anadanganya anasema ni tithe and yet when you are giving your tithe number one give with understanding ya kwamba god even not only money in the rangu god has given you 24 hours piga mwenye akona mwenye akona calculator piga 24 times 7 the 24 hours times 7 days a week how many is the, how, how many how, how many uh, uh, hours is that 20 24 times 7 in a week how many hours is that eh yeah? 1 160 Mungu ataki 168 yote kwako my brother. Out of 168, what is a tithe of 168? Amen. Gladys, 168 tithe yake ni gani? 16. Eh? 168 eh do. Si tithe yake ni let's go to 160 for example. Si 160 tithe yake ni 16. Sini 16. So, if it is 16 for example, Mungu amekupatia 16 that is 16 hours. We divide from Monday. Tunakwaga hapa lunch hour 1 1 1 hour 1 hour. Wacha 2 hours. 1 hour. How many? I say how many? From Monday to Friday. How many hours is that? Hai. How many hours is that? Nataka kupatia calculation hiyo utapatia Mungu tai. How many hours is that? Five hours. How many hours is remaining out of nine, out of sixteen? I say how many? Eleven. Kuna wala mukujai kuwasha church Sunday, yani Saturday, because muku ni wakubwa, yani you are too big, too big, yani muku wakubwa kuri kocheova himself. Now sixteen hours, because wale wana kujai kuwasha church at least Saturday. Imagine wame ya sain, wana marisaga at least saasita. Asangabi. Sasa wao wahesabie 7 hours. How many hours? 7 hours. Na tena wapi hiyo ka group kanakuja Sunday kanakuja angalau charge saa 3. Saa ngapi? Na tunatoka saa 5. Tunatoka yani tunatoka saa 8. How many hours is that? I say how many is that? I say how many is that? Uh-uh. Five hours on Sunday. How many hours? And then Saturday 2 hours. Hiyo ni 7 ndio? Plus 5. How many hours? Na hata hawajafika tithe, lakini wame wame manage wako 12. Hebu niambie mtu mwenye atokei kanisa Monday. Monday to Monday atokei. Sunday anakuja akifika hapa. Unafika tena saa 4 ndio unavuruta miguu. Then ukiingia church saa 4 unalala by the time mumbiri anasimama anaongea una yani ile masaa ya concentration ni only 2 hours how many hours my brother have you even got god even 1 1 1% live around 10 1% and let me tell you you be judged the bible says you rob god you rob what i say you rob what you are energy in the rang kuna watu wameadmitu hapo hospitali kuna watu wamevunjika miguu watu wako na vitu vingi lakini Mungu amekupatia uzima na uhai and you are alive and well and you can imagine even on one second on your strength unaimuka unaamuka tu mara moja unaweza wacha niruke hiyo kama ni bada mmoja niruke you can walk ndrangu unaweza tembea kutoka kule jashoo uko chini na miguu uanze saa sita, ufike hapa saa nane, yani saa saba. Ukifika hapa saa saba, unafanya ibada saa nane, unamaliza one hour. Uteremuke brother na mguu. Umekava three hours. Hii three hours hata kama basi wiki mzima uwezi kuja. Because wewe ni mwanaume, uwezi kuja kuosha kajiza Saturday? Uwezi. 
Na urumia kata wala mama you cannot even find time. Let me tell you, if you can never find time even for God for one second, even one hour, kusimama mbele za Mungu, hata ukikuja kwa church hapo uiangalie hivi, ujifanye uliosha na utoke. Trust him me. Your heart is already connected with God. Lakini vitu vingine zikitokea and why people hate the truth. When you speak the truth they hate it. Mungu anauliza anasema, "Would a man rob God?" He said, "You have robbed me. You have not the what?" Number one, robbery number one is what? Ah, uh, mention it loudly. Number one, robbery is what? I say number one, robbery is what? I say number one is what? Now, number two, in your offering. Now, these offerings are in different categories. They are in what? Paul and Asema, in Romans chapter number 12, just keep, keep, uh, click there as you keep that one. And Asema, in Romans chapter number 12, verses number one, Paul and Asema, I beseech you, I will teach you until you feel that God, you want to rise to another level. Somebody say amen. What does the Bible say? Please read it loudly. Soma kwa sauti wale mko hapa hivi. Chameni, please stop mocking God. Umeriza umeshinda nyumbani the whole day, basi. Umekaa nyumbani the whole day wiki mzima, unasunguka. You know they said mimi nilikuwa hoka, nilikuwa nauza njugu kwa sokoni. Nilikuwa naamka saa 11 na moja ndini ndubi. Njugu Kisumu stage. Hakuna kitu sijafanyaka. Unajua mnaonaka kama niko hapa chaji kwa sababu I'm a lazy guy. I'm not. I'm one of the most hard working man. You ask my wife what we have in our house. I don't have anything that I bought from offerings. I bought them. She came and found in my house seated on a chair. Nilikuwa na nauza njugu, nauza vitu vitu nikanunua. Kitanda analalia. Si hadi sadaka mzendubi. Unajua kuna watu who have very less mind. Less mind who thinks that you can always get it and I tell you the truth I have a right to eat an offering from this place kwa sababu I have paid the price waiting upon God praying over you guys and keeping on doing every day So I am a hard worker So some of you you are not even anywhere Yaani hata kuja church unarazimishwa hata mimi nasema hivi na nimesemaga sasa with a lot of in a lot of respect if you feel God anakuchosha ndirango Muziki iko Rachel Maria iko Catholic ambaye inafanya ibada saa na mbili by 6:30 imemaliza imemaliza na huko siweza kuja hii makanisa watu wanakaa kutoka saa mbili mpaka saa kumi na mbili jioni hata waji because you get tired what does Paul says can you read it loudly please number one. watch up by the masses yani na wapembeleza kwa rehema za nini Aise kwa nini? Na kupembeleza ndirangu cha meni. Peana hii mwili yako kama dhabiri yo hai. Amka na utembee na useme close your business. Yaani, diajana sister hata inaweza kupatia shilingi tano. Unang'ana unasimama saa saba hivi even na mus, unaona muislamu anapita pala anaenda pia anaenda muskiti. Uko hapo umengeti and when you look at the profit you have at the end of the day what you are going to do with it? you take a great justice siku moja nikuja nikapata ndio amefunga pula amefunga hii kinyozi i don't know whether nobody was there nilipo nikampata kwa ibada nikasema huku jana amejaribu ku bf because you take you take a decisive action that time ndio watu wanakunywa soda ndio watu mpaka wale watu wako huko ndio watajiulizaga na ukweli kabisa hawa watu kweli wamependa mungu Sia kwa sababu wako huko hata kama uko huko Mungu amekubariki wewe ndio mwenye hii gas petrol station you close it unasema kwamba one hour hata kila mtu akipitia anasema one hour what what hawa wako katika presence ya Mungu you cannot come from the presence of God and remain the same I repeat my statement again you cannot remain in the presence of the Lord and you became the same Wesh Paul anasema give present your bodies as a living what? Sacrifice. Nani anataka? Nani anataka kutoa mwili wake kama dhabiri hai? Nani anataka? Sitasahau historia ya Mzendubi and that was also in our place. Tulikuwa tunaenda tunaenda Nyabururu for kukula sakramenti because kule kwetu hakukua na sakramenti na sakramenti father anaipeania Nyabururu mbali 
So mnaamka mnaanza miguu ili mvuai father asiwe ameondoka because father alikuwa na centers nyingi ya kwenda kupeana sakramenti. Hiyo Sunday ya sakramenti ndio na wengine you are very lazy. Tunapeana meza ya Bwana hapa asubuhi saa tatu na unakuja saa nne. You don't care. Unakaa mwezi mzima na unajakula meza ya Bwana. You are you are wicked. Ujai onja meza ya Bwana na ujui hata it looks like na ikusumbui you don't know. You don't know how it looks like. Are you a Christian or you are a, you are an atheist? Wakati tulipoweka sheria tukasema everybody ambaye amebatizwa ndiye atakula meza ya Bwana. We saw people get watu waka wakaanza kubiefu. People got baptized. Tarehe 30 tuko na baptism ya pili. Kama hujabatizwa